all new fully electric bins is here and Mercedes of Clearwater has given us the 2022 Mercedes Benz EQS 450 plus sedan obsidian black three trim levels. You're going to have your premium, your executive, your pinnacle. Inside is going to offer up to 56 inches of a hyper curved glass panel screen or your standard OLED touch screen with a 12.3 digital driver cluster, full luxury interior, including massage seats with extra pillow cushions for the headrest. 15 minutes will get up to 186 miles. Your rivals is going to be your Tesla Model S. Your Lucid Air, Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron, the list goes on and on. But when we're looking for a luxury vehicle that can get range, get it quick, with a quick zero to 60 number in all of the amenities that you get in the interior, nothing is gonna be like the Mercedes Benz. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and I'm gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. flagship EQS is not going to be on the S-Class platform. It is on its own electric EV platform. The aerodynamics is going to be the most advanced in its sector, and they're going to add an aggressive styling to the exterior with that AMG exterior package that adds AMG bumpers with the A-Wing gloss black and chrome inserts. The front splitter is going to have the chrome. The side air inlets are going to have the gloss black with the chrome treatment. AMG rear bumper with the diffuser and gloss black. Double trim strip in chrome. The bins is going to be the widest and the tallest. The grill is going to implement the new three-point star. And I do like how we got the light bar that is integrated in between LED digital lights set with 21-inch multi-spoke with the black accents, AMG wheels. The disc reading behind it at 15.3 inches. The rear is going to be at 14.9 inches. Adjustable regenerative braking through your paddle shifters. Air mass air suspension with adaptive dampers. The rear wheels will turn four and a half degrees standard. You can do an optional 10 degrees because the longest vehicle at 207.3 inches is almost 12 inches longer than all of the competition with a wheelbase at 126.4 inches. Hidden door handles until you come up to it or you press it for it to open up. And I do like how we have the EQS badging on the side with the gloss black, the most advanced aerodynamic bin with a wide rear track, trunk lid spoiler, LED light bar is going to be in the rear. That diffuser makes it look super aggressive in the side sills on this rear bumper. It just gives more of a tracting style, even though there's no exhaust because it's zero emissions. They did an excellent job making it look performance driven. Kick to open for the hatchback with cargo at 22 cubic feet. Their storage is going to be on the side and underneath the floor. The rear bench split folds at a 60-40 split. That's going to max the cargo to 63 cubic feet, which is the best in class. The styling that you're going to be getting is full luxury with performance. Charging is going to be around 11 and a half hours from a 10 to 100% charge with a 240 volt, that's a level two. 10 to 100 DC fast charge at 200 kilowatt, that's around 31 minutes. This is just a hair under 6,000 pounds. So when you're considering how quick you're getting the charge, that is great. They back the performance with the biggest battery at 107.8 kilowatt battery pack, producing 329 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque that's paired to a single-speed automatic transmission, achieving 97 to 97 MPG ease, which is not going to be the best in class. However, for luxury, it's definitely something that's going to get you far with the range up to 350 miles. That's good for a 0 to 60 between 4 and 5.9 seconds. A quarter mile, 12.5 to 14.5 with the top speed at over 130 miles per hour. The EQS is definitely moving more forward. It's not too over the top of futuristic styling. 
and I think it fits really good against the rivals. Let me know in the comments what you think about the all new 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS as we go into the interior, go over the tech, and take this for our test run. Entering inside the Mercedes-Benz EQS, you're going to receive 40.4 inches of headroom, 41.7 inches of legroom. It's a black on space gray Napa leather. Power adjustment front seats, they're heated, ventilated, massage the upscale interior is definitely going to outclass any of the rivals the three point stars are going to be on the dash on the door panels with the contrast stitching we have the alcatara on the top seamless air vents and you can option up to a 56 curve hyper glass screen with your touch infotainment and your driver cluster we have the 12.8 oled touch screen with navigation so we naturally have the pinch and the swipe click home the eqs is going to show your charging your range your consumption everything to make it easy click into the home button you could go slide it over we have apple carplay android auto sirius xm bluetooth connectivity streaming audio click into your apps we have wi-fi hotspot slide that over to your comfort here's where you have your massage seats you have your 64 different ambient colors for the interior of the cabin. Click onto your information that's gonna show the energy flow and for your vehicle for the comfort for the acceleration and braking information. Switch it into reverse. We do have full trajectory. It is a 360 degree reverse camera in multiple different camera positions which makes it super easy as well. You can click onto the audio you can click onto the auto and you can also slide that over so you can zoom in a little bit to make it even easier for your reversing. And I like how this screen just integrates into the center console because it gives a water effect with your two cup holders that can fit a 16.9 ounce water bottle. You can also take that out and it'll be a huge storage tray, wireless charging, two USB-C ports. The gloss black is going to integrate into the soft materials in which you rest your elbows. Open up inside here, two USB-C ports and it is a deep storage compartment. You have a second storage tier underneath here with two more USB-C ports and you can pretty much fit a huge purse in between. So I like how so far all the space is actually being utilized. Three spoke leather wrap steering wheel with the gloss black. You got the silver that's gonna outline it. Multi-function touch pads with the paddle shifters for your regenerative braking. The gauge cluster is a 12.3 digital driver cluster and you can change from understated to sport to classic your navigation, which you can zoom in and zoom out, or vice versa, your assistance, and you can see for all your services. So I like how you can tailor it to fit your dial when you're driving the vehicle. The door panel actually goes into the dash and it has a hidden Burmaster speaker inside. You're gonna have the soft materials with the contrast on the top, ambient lighting, the gloss black is going to surround all of your memory seats for your seat adjustments, heated, ventilated, more soft materials for your elbows, that three point star that's around your one touch up and down for your windows and storage in the door pocket, I'd say about two or three 16.9 ounce water bottles. You have a dual moon roof. So that way it makes it a little bit more sporty and still gives that luxury essence. And I like how we have these extra pillow cushions for the headrest because when I'm going on a long journey with a flagship vehicle, I'm thinking the S-Class and this is the new class, the EQS. Let's see how I look in the back. For the back seats, I'm just as comfortable as I would be in the front and that's what you're expecting for this type of class. Headroom, no issues for six foot three. Legroom, the same thing. This is the longest vehicle in its class so you're not gonna have any issues. It's almost like a truck or an SUV for the back seats. Elbows are gonna be super soft on the center. Door panel is gonna be a little bit more firm and sporty. You have your two air vents, two USB-C ports, storage behind both of the front seats. The floor is not completely flat, but I don't necessarily think it's gonna to be too much of an issue. Cup holders, maybe a 20 ounce, and you have a pin holder in front just like the S-Class. Door panel is gonna receive the same soft materials on the top. You got the contrast stitching and the ambient lighting, the gloss black. It's gonna go around the door handle. You got your one touch up and down with that three-point star in the ambient lighting and storage is gonna be about 
two 16.9 ounce water bottles. So it's not necessarily so bad in the storage capacity because I have so much room. Let's see how I look in the center. Fitting it to the center, headroom, still not an issue. Legroom, the same thing. Obviously I'm blocking the central air vents and the USB ports because the floor is not completely flat. I'm gonna share some feet, butt, shoulder space, but I can alter that by putting my feet in the center. It's gonna be a little bit more tight though. I can't actually move my feet. So you will really wanna use the space between the two occupants. And as the seat, it pushes you out and it pushes you up maybe an inch or two. So it's gonna be a little bit tighter for the center. And it's not gonna be as comfortable because we don't have those pillows for the back for our headrest. It's doable not as much luxury as on the side. Comparing it to the Lucid in the Tesla, you're gonna have more space because this is wider and longer. You have just as much storage capacity and you have 350 mile range at this price point, which is just a hair over $100,000. And when you're looking at the competitors, yes, they're gonna get more range, but this is gonna have more luxury for that price point. Taking the all new 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS out for our test run, 329 horsepower with 417 pound-feet of torque. What I've already noticed is how smooth the ride is. You do sit up higher too with this. So the numbers, the way it projects itself is definitely going to be wider and it feels longer too. I do like how we have the rear steering because it does make it a lot easier. But when you're considering this, you also have to consider that reversing into a parking, it's going to make it a lot quicker and easier or seamless. So those are two things that you really have to take in consideration. Zero to 60 numbers, around four to nearly six seconds. And I mean, it's a fast car, which look at this. Seamless. And I mean, super quiet. I don't hear absolutely anything on the exterior. So I do like what we're working with. It does feel very wide and it does feel long, but when I push the pedal, this electric thing moves like crazy. So, I mean, it is nice. I mean, anytime I push it, I am just going, look at this. And it actually feels extra soft. Comparing it to the Rivals, this is gonna be a lot more smooth braking. It even feels smoother with the braking as well. I just like the fact that they take the essence of the S-Class and they put it in electric because I don't hear anything at all. There's no dual pane windows, but they've done an excellent job with the sound dampening. Now to show you some braking. I mean, it's not gonna be an issue, even though the thing is nearly 6,000 pounds. We're at a red light. I just put it into sport mode. And I also like the fact that we have the traffic light view, which you're probably seeing on the other camera so you can adjust it. It's awesome. I mean, the technology that you're getting with this is so superior and so luxurious. Let's see how it goes. I mean, you can feel it down your throat when you push the throttle on this vehicle it's instant but again you don't hear anything going over any impurities not an issue it doesn't actually feel wider than the lane it just does feel wide especially the way you're sitting or the way you sit you can adjust the seats there's so many ways and you got the massage and ventilated seats so it is super comfortable now there is three things i like and three things that i dislike is anything more than that i'd be buying this eqs to start off with the three things that i like is that 15 minutes of a dc fast charge will get you nearly 200 mile range that is awesome because when you go to a gas station five minutes is long now you only have to wait 15 minutes Minutes. The second thing that I like about the vehicle is even if you get the lower trim levels, you still have sufficient power. It pushes you back, you feel it, and it feels very athletic. The aerodynamic structures, they just nailed it. We're going to stop in the middle of the road, give her some gas or electric. It's crazy fast. And I like that we have blind spot monitoring because this is more or less the flagship S-Class in electric. I'm not gonna be turning my head back at all. I'm gonna be using the sensors. The last thing that I like about the vehicle is this is a hatchback. So we have so much more cargo capacity. Even though there's a disadvantage, which we'll get to in a second, this is going to top the S-Class because even in the interior, they've crafted it where you have even more cargo space. Three things that I dislike has to start off, there's no frunk with this vehicle. And that 
does make you lose a little bit of cargo space. However, it's a hatch, so it kind of sort of takes its place. The second thing that I dislike is the futuristic sound that you get on the exterior. I get it, it's for pedestrians, but we're not in Star Wars. The last thing that I dislike, it has so much torque and power and because of how quiet and seamless and aerodynamic it is, it actually can make you feel a little sick and give you a bit of a headache when you push it too hard. So you obviously probably get used to it, but the G-force that you're getting is insane with this. Daily driven vehicle, you have up to 350 mile range. Level two charger, it's gonna be the same as a Tesla or a Lucid Air, so you don't have to really be concerned about your charging times. Plus this has DC fast charging, which can go even faster. I mean, 15 minutes for nearly 200 miles. I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but that's awesome. Driving this casually is going to be a little bit tough because the pedal is so light that you just want to push it and it will throw you back anytime you do so. As for seeing through the windscreen, you sit up higher so you almost feel like you're, I hate to say, in a small SUV, but it does actually have that projection with the way I'm sitting in it. As for on the sides, blind spot, you're gonna have some of those dynamics. It's going to stay planted. Give it the pedal. I mean, it's just so quick that you don't wanna really go slow with it. That's something that me personally, if I had this vehicle, I would be going fast a lot, probably getting some speeding tickets. So you're gonna to have to be careful because you're not going to know how fast you're going because the thing just keeps going. So I like the fact that everything is just so smooth and yet so quick and you're not spending 150 or 200,000 or anything like that to get those performance numbers. Using the paddle shifters, you can do no recuperation and you can do an aggressive or a normal. The aggressive or strong is going to be like you're braking, but if you want to really get optimal MPGEs, I would recommend it just you're going to have to really hold the pedal most of the time because it almost brings you to a complete stop. I've been kind of using it without it so that way you can just play with the car like this. And because it's so quick, I don't think blind spot's gonna be an issue, nor is it going to be an issue with the length because you have four and a half degree turn radius for the rear wheels. If you need more, it has a 10 degree, which would make it even more sleek derived. And I mean, when you're gliding through the lanes, that's really what you're gonna be doing with this air suspension, four wheel independent. So it's going to be ultra smooth. To show you the turn radius, more or less at a stop point, look at this, barely two lanes. It is so seamless. I like to thank Mercedes-Benz at Clearwater for giving us the all new 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click the next video, the subscribe button, check out the details, merchandise, website, and everything we do here. Hawkeye rides.